Monday in Holy Week, the Annunciation of Our Lord, Luke 1, 26-38. Now, the Annunciation of Our Lord doesn't happen every Monday in Holy Week. It's one of those fixed dates that we have in the church. It's, it's March 25th is, is when we actually celebrate it every single year. So it always falls in Lent, but it doesn't always fall in Holy Week. We're, we're lucky uh, this year. And that might be a little bit odd for us to think about, that here Monday in Holy Week, and <clears throat> Jesus is just about to get to the cross in four days, and yet we're going to focus on not even Christmas time, but we're going to focus on conception time, right? But maybe we should. I know that yesterday was the triumphal entry. It was Jesus riding into Jerusalem on a donkey and Palm Sunday with those with palm branches waving. And then we're used to hearing about him going into the temple and, and throwing out everybody in the temple, right? Because he made it a den of thieves and robbers. We're used to, to hearing about all that, maybe even a, a withered fig tree here and there. But no, today let's focus on this annunciation because I think it speaks a lot to who our Lord actually is. And I think oftentimes we overlook it, or we can. We can overlook the fact that our Lord is true man in every sense of the word. And I know at Christmas, just a couple months back, we celebrated his birth, but I don't think we celebrate his annunciation, his conception, the moment of his incarnation all that much. Because our Lord became just like us in every single way, which means then that, yeah, he was floating down Mary's fallopian tubes. And he landed in her uterus. And for nine months, there he was, being nurtured by his mother. <clears throat> the Lord of all of creation began the size of a, a dot. It's kind of amazing to think that, that our Lord would actually do that for us, for you. And so this Monday of Holy Week, maybe <clears throat> let's focus on that. Let's focus on the fact that our Lord has become man. Actually, deemed it good, right, and, and salutary to remain man until all of eternity. He's never going to not be. Right? That's how he ascended into the heavens. And so he's like you. He's like me in, in every way here, except, of course, without sin, which is why he's going to take himself to the cross in our stead. But Let's focus on today, his annunciation, his conception, him being in the womb of his mother, Mary treasuring and pondering all of these things in her heart. And we get to know exactly what that's going to come to, the culmination of it all, this, this Holy Week, that little microscopic baby inside of Mary. He's going to make him his way to the tomb after the cross after Monday, Thursday, where his flesh and his blood is given for you to eat and drink, where his body hangs on the tree, where his lifeless body is placed into the ground. This all began as a little baby inside Mary. That's our Lord. Amazing to ponder.